Okay, now listen. We are going to see three-digit subtraction. Now subtraction three-digit number, but it is a regrouping tens and ones. So first we have to see the sum. It is five hundred and seventy-three, two hundred and fifty-six. So I have to subtract from five hundred and seventy-three to two hundred and fifty-six. So hundreds, tens, and ones. We have to write the place value first. Then you have to write the number according to the place value. So I have to uh, first. I have to start with ones. See, look at the number. What are the numbers in ones place? Three and six. So three is a smaller number and six is a greater number. You can't subtract. Not enough ones because ones is not enough to subtract. So what we are going to do? You have to regrouping. Regrouping means you have to subtract from the. That means you have to borrow from. That means not subtract. You have to borrow from tens. So how many tens here? Seven tens and three ones. That is what I have written. Seven tens and three ones. Now I am going to borrow from seven tens. So what is what is going to happen? This seven tens becomes because I have to borrow seven tens. So I have to borrow from. I have to borrow from one tens from seven tens. Have to borrow one ten. Sorry, I have to borrow one ten from seven tens. So this seven ten becomes six tens, and this three, this three, that is three ones, will become thirteen. Okay, thirteen. So now it is a greater number, thirteen minus six. So you have to subtract from thirteen to six. So that is what I have written: six tens and thirteen ones. Okay, six tens and thirteen ones. So you know that is a backward counting. After six, you have to start what subtracting. So start counting. After six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So the answer is what seven. That is answer is seven ones. Now the step one is over. Now I'm going to do the step two. That is again hundred tens and ones. Five seventy three minus two hundred and fifty six. So you have to what write the same answer that is seven ones. Now I'm going to what step two that is subtract tens. Subtract the tens. Subtract the tens. This is the heading. So how many tens? So this is this become this three ones becomes thirteen and this seven tens becomes six tens already. I've written on the what step one. Now I'm going to do the step two. So I am going to what focusing tens place. Okay, I am going to focusing tens place. What are the numbers in tens place? Six tens and five tens. I am going to subtract from six tens to five tens. Six tens and five tens mean that is six minus five. That is what is this? One tens. One tens. This is the right answer. So you have to write from six to five. You can get what one. So this is the answer. So I have written one year. So step three. Now I'm going to move on to the step three. Subtract the hundreds. Okay. So already I've written seven here and also so ones. Okay. This thirteen become sorry. This three become thirteen. This seven becomes six. Okay. So I've written the answer seven and one seven ones and one tens over. Now I'm going to what focusing hundred. Okay. Hundreds. So I'm going to concentrate the hundred place value. This is called a step three. Subtract the hundreds. How many hundreds? Five hundreds and two hundreds. That is what I've written. Five hundreds and two hundreds. I've written. So that means five minus two from five. I have to subtract two. So backward counting. You have to count from the backward. Backward counting. That is start with two, three, four, and five. The answer is three. So how many? Three hundreds. Three hundreds. So the answer is three one seven. This is the right answer for the question. So now I'm going to do the normal addition. That is, there is no regrouping method. Just write H T O hundred tens and ones. What are the number five? That is five seven three and two five and six two hundred and fifty six. So from five hundred and seventy three to two hundred and fifty six, I'm going to subtract. So Once I have to start with ones, so three ones and six ones. So I have to subtract from three ones to six ones. Not enough to subtract, so I have to borrow from tens. So this three becomes what thirteen. So this seven becomes six. So thirteen minus six. So I've told you the backward counting again. So what is this? After six, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, seven. You have to write. So from six tens to five tens, six minus five, you can get one. 
So now I'm going to do the 100, 5 minus 2, that is 3, 4, 5, the answer is 3. Again, you can get the same answer, 317. So this is a normal method. There is no regrouping. This is regrouping method. Both, if you do the both method, you can get the same answer, 317. But which is your favorite or which is convenient for you, you can choose any one method and follow the same. Okay, I don't have any issues, but I suggest this what, uh, traditional and normal method because as it is a less time you have taken, you if you want to do this normal method or a traditional method, less time only you have to, less time only you can take. You can take the less time, but this regrouping method without any mistake you can do, but it's a what? time taking process time delayed process but step by step process and you can do uh, without any we can, you can get the answer without any mistake so you can do this method but or you can do this method digit by digit that is what each digit you can do this that is the only thing is the time delaying process but it is a simple method normal method but if you, uh, if you if you do this method otherwise if you take this method you can uh, do the subtraction uh, more and more that is lot of practice you needed okay anyway but i suggest this method only